Before tape was released of Draymond's unruly straight right hand knockout of Jordan Poole, Chris Haynes tried to claim Jordan instigated it, which was called out as BS by the Warriors organization. Jay Billis said that it'll be Draymond's last year in the Bay Area, regardless of whether or not that turns out to be the case. What Green did was obviously uncalled for, but still, everyone's overreacting to the Golden State Warriors drama, and people claiming the dub's chemistry is broken could be exaggerating. Subscribe for NBA breakdowns, hot takes, predictions, and stories. Also leave a thumbs up on this video for YouTube's algorithm now into the content. Green landing a punch on pool in practice was followed by Yahoo Sports reporter Chris Haynes tweeting, quote, Draymond Green was apologetic in the aftermath of the altercation with Jordan Poole, but there was a buildup stemming from teammates noticing a change in Poole's behavior throughout camp, with the guard on the verge of securing a lucrative extension, end quote. All three of Bob Myers, Steve Kerr, and Stephen Curry heavily denied those claims from Haynes. The usually calm Steph Curry even called it BS. The Golden State Warriors are coming off a successful Tokyo trip, where they went 2-0 against the Washington Wizards. Unfortunately, the on-court success didn't translate to the team's off-court chemistry, as some players didn't seem to do much bonding over in Japan. Both Draymond Green and Jordan Poole are eligible for contract extensions, which is a narrative the media has taken and ran with in terms of relating that to this altercation between the two. Right now, everyone's trying to act like they know exactly what caused these two to have a back and forth, whether it's casuals calling out Draymond for supporting a fellow member of his agency and LeBron, or media members claiming Jordan and Draymond have beef over contract talks, the nonsense being stirred up is truly blasphemous. Draymond has still yet to say anything on either his podcast or even in a tweet, but the fact that he hasn't addressed it yet only displays that he's embarrassed about the situation as he should be. We don't know what was said, but from the tape, you can tell Jordan Poole wasn't the man in the wrong. Yet, since a member of the Clutch Sports Agency, just like Green and LeBron and Chris Haynes, tried to twist the story in the direction of Poole being the bad guy, that makes this whole situation look even worse for Draymond. Marcus Thompson II of The Athletic had this to say in a recent article about Green, quote, This was unacceptable because he's 32, a newlywed and doting father. He should be well past behavior like this. He's better than this. He's definitely too smart for this. If nothing else, he just gave every team in the league a reason not to pay him what he believes he's worth. He swung away whatever leverage he had on the Warriors, who now have to worry much less about backlash if they trade him or let him walk. This isn't the think three steps ahead Draymond who just anchored a championship defense. Thompson II continued, saying, What makes it so egregious is Green is the big homie. He's supposed to be the rim protector. They love him because that's a role he plays and is reliable at. He gets away with a lot of his behaviors because of the value he brings, especially in this area. With Green as your big bro, your back is always covered. He was supposed to fight for Poole, not attack him. It's a great responsibility being the big homie, and Green is usually great at it. Now he's lost that status. He betrayed his post. It's beyond comprehension why. But whatever the reason, it was such a violation of what he means to the Warriors that you have to wonder how he can go back into that same locker room and be who they need him to be. The video changes everything, end quote. I'll add that the fact that Stephen Curry had to do a lengthy press conference backing up Draymond is completely ridiculous. That just goes to show you how great of a leader Curry is, as Steph's most significant statement in defense of his longtime teammate was saying, one of Draymond's superpowers is being able to bring his fire. I don't want him to ever lose that, end quote. Of course, for the most part, Curry said that Draymond was in the wrong. The Warriors' leadership with the best one in the NBA, Steph Curry, along with Kavon Looney and Andre Iguodala, who've covered up for rough moments that Draymond's had in the past, should allow them to move on from this moment, hopefully after an apology from Green. We're all human, emotions get the best of us at times, it doesn't matter who you are. Bottom line is though, regardless of whether you like it or not, now the tape's out, we all saw what happened, it was a ruthless attack from Green. Bob Myers already said that Golden State wouldn't suspend Green, which Draymond should be grateful for, and that should smooth things over. Green and Poole have had disagreements in the past, like this altercation in the huddle from last season. The Warriors got over that and won the title, 
and if the Dubs can somehow recover their chemistry and find a lethal on-court flow yet again in 2023, going back-to-back -back for chip number five, that'd speak to the team's already proven ability to fight through the toughest of adversity. However, Draymond has to get himself together here, and who knows if Poole even wants to forgive him for what he did. As simple as it may sound, maybe Green needs to be reminded that being a professional basketball player entails sacrificing your ego to make things work, as almost everyone who makes the association has a big personality, given everyone was the man in high school and college. As a fan, watching the best team solve the ego dynamic is one of my favorite parts about basketball. Draymond's one of the most versatile defensive players we've ever seen. He should be well aware of this himself, so it's sad to see him lash out like he did, given he's the player who's been in the league way longer than Jordan Poole. With all of that said, many Warrior fans on Twitter are stating that the dynasty's in jeopardy because of this, and everyone's extremely pissed off at Draymond for killing the championship vibes. The drama's distracted us from what we should be talking about, the Warriors' incredibly deep young talent displayed in Tokyo, and the dominant performance from Curry in the second of two in Japan. Luckily, I talked about Patrick Baldwin Jr. showing out before all of this drama went down, but it's just sad this current warrior dilemma has taken over as the biggest news in the organization right now. I could be giving you every reason for why Stephen Curry's undeniably the best player in the world right now, or breaking down the best defensive plays from Andrew Wiggins, or even Draymond Green for that matter. Let's not forget about how well Jordan Poole played offensively in 2022's championship run, and of course throughout the regular season, he should have been most improved player of the year. And while Jordan needs to get a lot better on defense, you'd think JP would have earned respect from a future Hall of Famer in Draymond for contributing 13.2 points on 59% true shooting in the NBA Finals. Still though, the fan and media overreactions I've seen in regards to the four-time champions are fairly ridiculous. Steve Kerr cleared the air in regards to the Chris Haynes report about Jordan Poole, saying Jordan has been fantastic throughout camp. Regarding the reports of Jordan having an attitude in camp, nothing could be further from the truth. Disappointed I'm seeing misinformation out there, end quote. And Bob Myers had this to say about Green's actions, Draymond is one of my favorite players. You're better than this. Don't do this to yourself. Don't put yourself in this position. Still love the person. Don't love what he did. He's complicated, but he's a good person. He is. I've seen it. Yesterday wasn't one of them. Two shoutouts from my last upload and this one next time, but should the Warriors suspend Draymond in your opinion? You're the best if you made it this far. Thanks for watching.